Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Welcome back to Other Half Week. Today's beer comes courtesy of Bob from I Drank Beer again. So thank you so much, Bob. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. Um, he gave me a four-pack. I'm really excited about it. I got a couple other ones after that to do. So yeah, full week of it. Um, this one, I have not actually have had any of the ones I'm going to be doing this week. Uh, this is uh, Go With The Flow, the double dry hop. I think there's a non-double dry hop version. Uh, IPA, 6.5% ABV, just a couple weeks old. Um, really cool can art. You can see here where it says go with the flow. Um, yeah, really awesome can art. Uh, it does have the, uh, canning day. Other than that, it doesn't say like, um, hops or malt or any of that kind of stuff. So I don't know, but I do know it's, like I said, almost exactly two weeks old. All right. Apparently from watching this glass yesterday, there's a lot of bubbles clinging to the sides. Try that move again that I did the other day with the uh, wall of those from Lagunitas, and that worked. Got that from Joe from Jow's Arcade. Worked perfectly. Look at that. Um, very much like uh, grapefruit juice. That's what it looks like. Heads white. Pretty compact bubbles, but they're a little bit bigger than when I usually say that. Um, intermediate, intermittently, no. Slightly bigger than compact bubbles. There you go. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Um, intermediate. Intermediately small bubbles. Does that sentence make sense? Who cares? Let's continue aroma. Hmm. Mango, pineapple, but there's like like a lime in there. Some lemon, but also orange citrus. It is a relatively sweet smelling beer, despite the fact that I'm getting like a little bit of lemon and lime, which are not you know traditionally considered sweet fruits. A little bit of like an earth note. Yeah, overall, it's, it's sweet fruit, uh, some citrus, some tropical fruit, about dead center, and then there's uh, of the two, and then there's, yeah, some, like, earth quality to it. it smells really good. Uh, so far, these other half beers, this is my third one um, for this week. The aromas have been very good. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. A lot of melon in that. Wow. A little bit of a mint note at the end. Lemon for sure. Lime for sure. Definitely not as sweet as the aroma. Great level of bitterness. Like I said, they're just calling it an IPA. It is 6.5% ABV, so it has that bitterness that I'm looking for in IPA. But it ha it's not like West Coast bitter IPA. It is, I'll just say East Coast, Northeast. It's not like New England. It doesn't scream New England despite the fact that it's hazy. It's it's not quite a hybrid either. So I'm just going to say like an East Coast kind of an IPA. Really good flavor though. Somewhat creamy. A lot of grapefruit in that sip. Yeah, a lot of grapefruit. Wow. <clears throat> That's really good. I love grapefruit. If you don't watch my channel a lot, I, I'm a huge grapefruit fan. And as I'm talking, I'm getting a lot of that pith and, and, and rind um, and much more grapefruit and lemon than uh, sweeter citrus. But there's that melon note in there. In terms of tropical fruits, I was getting the aroma. I don't, I don't really get a lot of taste. Maybe some like very bitter, hoppy. Pineapple and mango, but really is a citrusy with that melon in there as well. So yeah, if you like citrus IPAs, definitely check this out. It's really good. Um, you know, I I did a triple, I did a double, now I'm doing a regular IPA. So they are different enough, which is awesome as well. 
I'm not getting any sort of palate fatigue or anything. So thanks again, Bob, for my drink beer. If you haven't already checked me out on Instagram and on tap, please do so. It's just no hype beer reviews at both those places. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.